At the heart of the world, a very small yet powerful country emerges. An economic prowess lies in its unparalleled startup scene, boasting the highest number of startups per capita globally. In 2008, per capita venture capital investment in Israel surpassed that of the United States by 2.5 times, Europe by over 30 times, China by 80 times, and India by a staggering 350 times. Get ready for a mind-bending journey into the heart of Israel's prosperity. You might have heard whispers of foul play, accusations of theft, and claims of undue reliance on the US. But there's more to Israel's wealth than meets the eye. Israel's economic success is a captivating narrative of perseverance and transformation, propelling the nation to the forefront of global development despite its relatively young age. With a low and stable inflation rate of 1.4% and an unemployment rate of 4%, Israel stands as one of the most developed countries worldwide. Impressively, it holds the 22nd position out of 189 countries on the Human Development Index, showcasing its exceptional performance in life expectancy, education, and gross national income per capita. This remarkable success story can be attributed to a harmonious blend of factors including strategic state intervention, crucial foreign aid, and the profound impact of cultural influences. Israel's economic journey began with a proactive policy of state intervention during its formative years. The government actively participated in key sectors such as infrastructure, industrialization, and social welfare, laying a robust foundation for sustained economic growth. This interventionist, Maoist approach became a cornerstone for Israel's prosperity. Foreign aid, particularly from the United States, has been a strategic pillar supporting Israel's economic resilience. This aid has played a pivotal role in funding crucial development projects, enhancing defense capabilities, and providing essential support during challenging periods. It has proven instrumental in maintaining economic stability and fostering overall growth. The rich cultural heritage of Israel, coupled with a strong emphasis on education and innovation, has been a driving force behind the nation's economic success. This cultural influence has fostered an entrepreneurial spirit, led to technological advancements, and contributed to the thriving startup ecosystem. Israel's ability to infuse innovation into its economic landscape sets it apart on the global stage. A crucial turning point occurred in the 1980s, when Israel transitioned from a socialist model to a free market economy, this transformative move involved deregulation, privatization, and liberalization of trade and investment policies. The result was a more business-friendly environment that spurred economic dynamism, attracting investments, and fostering growth. The aggressive economic reforms implemented during the 1980s and 1990s marked a significant turning point. Measures to combat inflation, control government spending, and promote market competition resulted in increased productivity, a surge in foreign investment, and the flourishing of the private sector. These reforms were instrumental in driving Israel's remarkable economic boom during the 1990s. Israel's economic backbone is anchored in high technology and industrial manufacturing, with the diamond industry standing out, contributing to 23.2% of all exports. This emphasis on these sectors has positioned Israel as a global economic player, leveraging innovation and industrial prowess. The dual catalyst of military strength and technological advancements has played a pivotal role in Israel's economic growth. Boasting one of the world's most powerful militaries, Israel receives substantial military aid from the United States. Simultaneously, the nation's focus on technological innovation, particularly evident in its vibrant startup ecosystem, has further propelled its economic strength. The economic competitiveness of Israel finds its roots in the robust protection of property rights and relatively low levels of corruption. This creates a favorable business environment, attracting investment and contributing to the nation's resilience in the global economic arena. In essence, Israel's economic strength is the result of a multifaceted approach that weaves together historical interventions, strategic foreign aid, cultural influences fostering innovation, a transition towards a free market economy, impactful economic reforms, and the symbiotic relationship between military strength and technological advancements. This intricate tapestry has positioned Israel as a global economic powerhouse, navigating challenges and thriving on the principles of adaptability, innovation, and resilience.
The genesis of modern Israel can be traced back to the late 19th century when Zionist immigrants began arriving in Palestine during the era of Ottoman rule. However, the pivotal moment came with the British Balfour Declaration in 1917 envisioning a Jewish national home in Palestine. The subsequent formalization of British control in 1920 marked a crucial phase in shaping the future state. The mandatory period that ensued was instrumental in crafting the social, political and economic structures that laid the groundwork for the nation. Notwithstanding its establishment in 1948, Israel grappled with immediate economic challenges due to the war with its Arab neighbors. In response, a strategic move was made with the introduction of the new economic policy in 1952, aiming to address pressing issues such as inflation and immigration. The economic landscape from 1950 to 1965 witnessed remarkable growth driven by significant US capital inflows. The influx of well-trained immigrants from Europe and North America coupled with capital from diverse sources, became the engine propelling Israel's rapid economic expansion. Challenges faced, despite formidable obstacles, including a rapid increase in population, a boycott by Arab countries, and scarce resources, Israel not only thrived, but excelled in various domains. The nation achieved a commendable standard of living, emerged as a powerhouse in industrial exports, and demonstrated excellence in technology and science-based industries. Overcoming these challenges required a multifaceted approach involving the contribution of well-trained immigrants, policy measures, and strategic capital infusion. During this transformative period, the unwavering support from the United States played a pivotal role in Israel's economic trajectory. The capital inflows from the US became a driving force behind the nation's economic growth Simultaneously, Israel's emphasis on expanding and intensifying its agricultural sector proved to be a strategic economic move. Furthermore, the government's policies, particularly those favoring privatization and fostering the coexistence of diverse sectors, were key contributors to Israel's economic progress. This period not only marked the birth of a nation, but also laid the foundation for a resilient and dynamic economy that continues to evolve today. Israel's breakthroughs in technology, agriculture, and other sectors are not only shaping the nation's economic landscape, but are also contributing to global advancements and addressing pressing global challenges. In the field of technology, Israel's innovations have far-reaching implications, from enhancing cybersecurity measures to developing cutting-edge medical technologies. The nation's contributions to automation and efficiency in agriculture have the potential to address global food security concerns by revolutionizing farming practices. Additionally, breakthroughs in military infrastructure have implications for international security. As Israel's advancements often set new standards for defense capabilities, Israel's commitment to research and development extends beyond its borders through collaborations, partnerships, and knowledge-sharing initiatives. The numerous startups that emerge from Israel often bring novel solutions to global challenges influencing industries worldwide. The emphasis on education and scientific research has not only elevated Israel's standing in innovation, but has also positioned the country as a hub for knowledge exchange. Furthermore, Israel's advancements in sectors like renewable energy, water management, and healthcare technologies have the potential to contribute to global sustainability efforts. By addressing critical issues such as resource scarcity, environmental conservation, and medical breakthroughs, Israel's innovations play a role in shaping a more sustainable and interconnected world. In essence, Israel's contributions extend beyond its immediate borders, positively impacting the global community and fostering collaboration for a better future. In 1984, Israel faced a severe economic crisis characterized by an annualized inflation rate of around 400%, a budget deficit of about 17% of the gross domestic product GDP, and a significant current account deficit. Shimon Peres, after forming a national unity government with the Likud party, recognized the urgency of addressing these economic challenges. Under his leadership, a team of economists led by Michael Bruno devised the Economic Stabilization Program in 1985, combining free market solutions with price controls to combat hyperinflation. 
The program had three main components. One, reduction of fiscal budget deficit. The heart of the stabilization plan was a decisive reduction in the fiscal budget deficit, aiming to curb excessive government spending. This involved tough measures, particularly the slashing of food subsidies, which were a significant contributor to the budget shortfall. The reduction in subsidies was a contentious move, as it directly affected the cost of living for the population. However, it was deemed a necessary step to address inflation and bring the budget deficit under control. This fiscal discipline was essential to restore confidence in the economy. 2. Devaluation of the Israeli Shekel A strategic devaluation of the national currency, the Israeli Shekel, by 20% was a key element of the program. Devaluation aimed to boost exports by making Israeli goods more competitively priced in international markets. This move was crucial for improving the balance of trade and increasing foreign currency reserves. While devaluation can lead to higher import costs and inflationary pressures in the context of hyperinflation, it was considered a necessary measure to restore economic stability and competitiveness. 3. Freeze on shekel denominated aggregates. The freeze on shekel denominated aggregates, including wages, prices, and the nominal exchange rate, was a bold and unconventional step. This involved freezing these elements with pre established adjustments, essentially putting a temporary halt to the normal functioning of these economic parameters. The freeze was a temporary measure to halt the spiraling inflation rates. By freezing wages and prices, the government aimed to break the inflationary cycle and reset expectations. The adjustment mechanisms allowed for a controlled transition back to regular economic mechanisms once stability was achieved. Peris also sought assistance from the US government, securing emergency aid of about $750 million per year for two years, conditional on implementing reforms. The aid came with the establishment of an advisory board of American economists, including Stanley Fisher. Paris's adept negotiation skills were evident during this process, as noted by Fisher, who remarked, For a guy who didn't come to ask for aid, he did pretty well. Despite the potential unpopularity of the plan due to the risk of increased unemployment, Perez successfully obtained cabinet approval after a night-long meeting and political maneuvering. The results were remarkable. Monthly inflation rates dropped significantly, and the unemployment rate feared to spike, increased only by about two percentage points. Shimon Perez's economic reforms in 1985 are considered one of the most significant successes in his political career. The novel combination of orthodox and heterodox policies played a crucial role in the success of the economic stabilization program. The reforms not only stabilized Israel's economy, but also laid the foundation for years of economic growth. Israel's subsequent recognition as an innovation and entrepreneurship hub can be traced back to the visionary economic policies implemented by Shimon Peres. His legacy includes not only statesmanship and peace efforts, but also the implementation of one of the most successful economic stabilization programs in modern history. How powerful is Israel? Before that, we talked about how technology is advanced. There we only covered that they are contributing to 23.2% of all exports. But there is more to it. Well, in 2020, a staggering 65% of total investments, amounting to billions of dollars, found their way into IT solutions, cybersecurity and fintech. This financial influx signals a robust and sustained commitment to cutting-edge technologies. Artificial intelligence emerged as a star player, with an impressive $4 billion invested in AI-related projects in 2020 alone. This substantial investment underscores Israel's dedication to staying at the forefront of AI innovation. Diversification is a key theme in Israel's tech scene. The Internet of Things and Transport Technologies received a substantial $2.9 billion in 2020. This substantial funding fuels innovation in smart devices and transportation, promising transformative advancements. The impact on the health sector is substantial, with the life sciences industry, including biotech and medical equipment, employing around 84,000 people in 2020. This sizable workforce is driving forward innovations in health technologies, underlining Israel's influence in this critical domain. 
The food technology sector is experiencing a revolution, with the government allocating a generous $280 million between 2018 and 2020 for research on new food sources, including artificial meat. This investment positions Israel at the forefront of the future of food technology. Israel maintains a stronghold in climate technologies and clean energy, with a notable $3 billion invested in climate tech startups between 2018 to 2020. A considerable 10% of this funding comes directly from the government, emphasizing a commitment to sustainability. The global corporate presence is a testament to Israel's attractiveness, with approximately 390 multinational corporations operating in the country in 2020. Tech giants like Intel, Hewlett-Packard, IBM, Google, and others employed a total of 68,000 people, solidifying Israel's global impact. The allure of foreign acquisitions is evident in major deals, such as Intel's acquisition of Mobileye, specializing in autonomous systems for cars, for a staggering $15.3 billion in 2017. Nvidia's acquisition of Mellanox, a chip manufacturer, reached an impressive $6.9 billion. Government support plays a pivotal role, with active involvement in supporting foreign companies through grants and co-financing of investments. Intel's commitment to invest around $10 billion in a new microprocessor factory in Israel is a substantial example of this support. Lastly, the global chip supply crisis has elevated Israel's importance in chip manufacturing. Intel's substantial investment in a new microprocessor factory, alongside similar plans from other corporations like Amazon and Google, reinforces Israel's position as a crucial hub for chip production. These numbers collectively portray a vibrant and impactful high-tech ecosystem propelling Israel onto the global stage. Above all of that, Israel tends to own a big part of Western media with the help of us. They basically run the Western media. ICL, a prominent company in Israel, has a significant impact on the country's economy and society. According to a study by BDO, ICL contributed $4.1 billion to Israel's GDP in 2019. Being a major exporter, ICL plays a vital role in balancing Israel's payments, with approximately 95% of its revenues coming from global sales. The company invests tens of millions of USD annually in Israel, fostering economic expansion. In the Negev region, ICL serves as an economic backbone, supporting around 32,000 families directly and indirectly. It contributes 15% to the Negev's economic activity, totaling $2.95 billion in GDP. ICL's operations directly employ 4,200 families in the Negev, and for each ICL employee, 7.1 employment opportunities are created, benefiting various sectors like industry, commerce, and education. ICL's impact extends to addressing social inclusion by providing jobs in areas characterized by lower employment opportunities and economic inequalities. For instance, the company supports the livelihood of approximately 5,600 Bedouin Israeli employees, aiming to reduce inequality in Israeli society. Economically, ICL significantly contributes to Israel's national GDP, standing at $4.1 billion. The company's presence in the Negev region alone makes up 15% of the region's GDP. ICL's export value helps reduce Israel's trade deficit and its investments contribute to the country's economic growth. Furthermore, ICL positively influences Israel's balance of payments, public savings, and government budget. As one of the largest exporting companies, ICL's products contribute to the country's balance of payments. The Israeli public, often through savings plans, is a major shareholder in ICL, and the company pays substantial profits to the government, benefiting citizens and supporting various government initiatives. In summary, ICL's multifaceted impact on Israel encompasses economic growth, employment generation, social inclusion, and contributions to the government's financial well-being. Talking about the other side of Israel, since there is a war going on, 
Palestine has its own place in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. There are around 2 million Palestinians there. Now let's dive into its economics. Before COVID-19, the Palestinian economy faced challenges due to restrictions by Israel, conflicts, and a lack of productivity improvement. Between 2017 and 2019, economic growth was slow, resulting in decreasing incomes and increasing poverty. Investments were mostly in non-tradable sectors, limiting growth opportunities. Foreign investment was low. In 2020, the poverty rate spiked to 29.7%, affecting about 1.5 million people. With continued challenges, growth is expected to be around 3.7, 3.1%, and the poverty rate is projected to decrease gradually to 26.1% by 2024. Fiscal efforts face challenges, including deductions by Israel. The war in Ukraine and the pandemic pose additional risks to the economic outlook, especially amid recent clashes between Palestinians and Israeli forces. Basically, Israel is slowly destroying the economy of Palestine, till eventually the whole land belongs to them. Israel is expected to experience positive economic growth in the upcoming years. The gross domestic product, a key indicator of economic health, is projected to increase by 2.9% in 2023 and 3.3% 3 in 2024. Several factors contribute to Israel's economic strength. As we said before, it has a strong military, strong aid, and above all, is very advanced in the tech industry. Above all of that, Israel is a self-sufficient in gas which helps them in contributing to energy security and economic resilience. By reducing dependency on external sources, Israel ensures a stable and cost-effective energy supply, fostering economic activities and supporting various industries. This self-sufficiency also provides strategic advantages, granting geopolitical leverage and enhancing diplomatic relations through energy partnerships. Moreover, Israel's commitment to environmental considerations, such as using natural gas and investing in sustainability, aligns with global efforts to address climate change, reflecting a holistic approach to economic development. Why does this matter? Well, these factors will help them stay economically strong for a long time. But these days, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has cautioned that Israel's economy is expected to grow at a slower pace due to political tensions and global economic uncertainty, with the GDP forecast revised downwards for 2023 and 2024. While there are challenges such as political tensions and a slowdown in the global high-tech sector, Israel's economy is expected to continue its growth trajectory, albeit at a more moderate pace. Palestine's economy, though, is different. I can't really find good evidence about whether their economy would grow or not, but since the occupation, I sadly have to say that the economy is going down in a very bad way, making living there economically impossible. So, a chance of an economic growth is very low but possible. Navigating the Israel-Palestine conflict is like walking through a field of landmines. It's a challenge to firmly align with one side, given the complexities that both parties bring to the table. The crimes committed by groups like Hamas on October 7th cannot be ignored, just as the loss of innocent lives at the hands of Israel is a painful reality. It's not a black and white situation, but a tangled web of history, politics, and human suffering. Attempting to dissect it all here would take more time than we have. If you're interested in a deep dive into the intricacies of this issue, drop a comment below, subscribe, hit the like button.